Here's another video from the October 28th Works Day. We're with Neil. Uh, can you tell us uh, a bit about the condition of the engine and the transmission after you pulled it off? Okay, starting at the front, I guess where the transmission is located. Uh, we pulled it out, we've had a quick look at it. It uh, looks kind of dirty and rusty in spots, but uh, mechanically wise, it seems to be all right. Uh, turning it and that, we're able to uh, fluctuate it and uh, make the output shafts turn. We are um, able to make it go into reverse. We're having a little bit of problem here, having to shift through the range of gears, but we think that's maybe just from not being run for a long time, just sticky inside and that. As far as we know, there should be no problem in um, Of course, we'll be cleaning it down and cleaning it up better than what it is now. Uh, going over it again to make sure everything, uh, the oil levels and everything are right on it. We might be flushed out and that. Uh, there are inspection ports on it. We can open those and look in the inside just to make sure everything is well. But uh, tentatively, that's the least of our problems with transmission. Short of cleaning it up, changing the loops and the in it, uh, it, we should be okay. The clutch at the end here, again, that'll be opened up and inspected. It didn't really seem to be flooded or full of rubber or water debris, so uh, we're, we're hoping tentatively that that'll be minimum work in the transmission to, uh, to uh, the fixed up, uh, do the restoration on it and have it ready to put back inside again. Uh, moving on to the motor, that's a different scenario, of course. Uh, again, this is the Maybach HL120, which is a uh, basically a 12-liter, 300 horsepower V12 gasoline engine with a dry sump system. Uh, from what we can ascertain, there was some sort of directive towards the end of, uh, of the war when the vehicles were finished with their inspections and uh, intelligence go over to the effect if they were going to be set up as uh, as monuments that they had to be allowed to uh, deactivate naturally. And the order apparently was to leave the engine, the carburetors open, and uh, break their, destroy the electrical system or render it inoperable. And that's what we basically found. The um, electrics seem all right, but the carburetor system has been pulled apart. The covers were left off. One of the valve covers was left off. And of course, over that amount of time that they sat outside, the engine has just been saturated year in year out with water. So the inside of the motor is not going to be good. It's going to be, of course, completely seized. How bad the uh, actual internal components are, like the drive shaft, the pistons, and the uh, cam shaft, etc., we can't say because we just pulled it out today. We've had one motor guy look at it, so we'll play it. Uh, we'll play it by eye and ear as we go along and look at it. It's. Uh, Nothing, it's all here of course, and of course nothing, there's nothing that uh, once you have the basis can't be rebuilt, but the, uh, the amount of effort and the amount of damage inside will, will determine what the situation is being, whether, how far we're going to go ahead with it. Right now it's tentatively up in the air, we've got it out because we had to of course to get at the uh, rest of the hull to clean it out and do the restorations that be done in there. So as of now, it's uh, sitting here looking big and rusty. Well. <laughs> We'll attack it. We'll attack it as the people come and on the different work sessions and uh, go over it and review what we find and take it from there. Well, thanks a lot. Okay, then. No problem. Yeah.